Hi, my name is Thiago Hack. I'm an artist and on this painting I already prepared the background with some uh, mangiantum purple steins. Uh, then I go straight to the fish, I draw the outlines of the fish with a dark blue and I use the same color with a lot of transparency to make the background. This is a blue that is kind of greenish and uh, it has a patello uh, side of it in the pigment. Um, I uh, outlined the fish and I uh, painted all the background with transparency so it looks we are underwater. Now I'm grabbing some colors to fill in, so I'm mixing some green, some yellow with the blue and uh, accordingly with the wet brush as I move it on it starts making some greener parts and some other parts a bit more yellowish. I use this to make the scales. Now I grab the black and I'm gonna define the eye area and the drawing areas uh, on the flippers, the darker parts. I stand a bit on, uh, under the tail there so I use the whites to cover it and you can see how I use mistakes and accidents that happen to give uh, like uh, different textures to the painting. Um, so they play in my favor. Then I'm with the bright colors now trying to grab and make a middle tone mixing it still with the wet paint. On my painting technique I, I paint wet on wet. I leave the, the paint while it's still wet and I draw over it and I use the color that is still on the brush too in my favor. So I did the same with the black to outline some darker areas and I go from dark to light and from light to dark. Now I grab some white defined on the face a bit more um, and uh, I'm grabbing some uh, fluo pink to make some uh, some contrasts uh, to contrast with the green because the pink it's uh, the opposite color on the color wheel and makes a very strong livid contrast. I decided to go fluo because this fish was already very funky and, um, and uh, yeah and uh, so I go for it. You can see also that I don't hesitate whilst uh, my painting is drying and I need it to dry before I do some details I start immediately painting another fish that I had already also made the drawing and, and a bit of the background and let it dry. So I use always the colors and I'm non-stopping painting. Now I dried a bit, I can do the white parts uh, I do the white, um, some white details, uh, clean the brush on the background uh, make it uh, a bit of washes and I'm working more on details and uh, here it is that's it thank you for watching